So today's look is very punk, very rock and roll. I am obsessed with it. I was gonna wear a nude lipstick, but I really wanna talk to you guys about this Dior lipstick, so stay tuned for the lips. I'm also wearing this House Lab pigment paint on the eyes. I really think that these are all super cool products. I'm gonna tell you more about it, so keep on watching. So we have the Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer. So it's good if you're oily and you have big pores like me. So you can tell I have a lot of shine here on the forehead. Let's see if, we, if it does mattify it. Oh, it actually does. A Sheer Skin Tint by Summer Fridays. I did a review on this and I've been using it every single day. I love it. It's such a natural kind of finish. And for the look today, since it's going to be a little bit more bold and punk and rock and roll, the sheerer the foundation, the better. I just want something everyday wearable, but also something you probably see on a runway show. But I've just been loving a more sheer base, more natural. So this really brought back that glow that the mattifying primer took away. I'm still testing it out. I'm not sure if it's 100% the best primer ever. These are all like new things here and there. For concealer, I am going to use the Charlotte Tilbury. It is quite hydrating and very brightening. I'm just gonna use a little bit right there. Kind of just like in the center of the face. And again, not a lot. From that dot right there, you're just gonna extend it all the way through. I'm just making the skin look like skin. This kind of makeup also wears a lot better throughout the day. The heavier you go, it's just the more you need retouching or a lot of setting. But yeah, concentrate the products where you think you need them the most and use what's left on the brush to cover other areas. I have a review on this concealer. Something that I noticed by the end of the day is that you start seeing some light reflecting particles where I put the concealer. I think it has some sort of glitter on it. Not like chunky glitter, but like definitely a shimmer. So I guess that's what's helping just being a brightening concealer. Just letting you know in case you don't like that. I don't mind. I think it's fine. Obviously, bronzer season is done. Now we're heading over to fall. So I'm just going to use a rose ink one. And I'm just going to use it to lightly give myself some color. This is such a sheer natural formula, which is kind of what I'm going for today. And I'm just going to go with a blush because I also don't have any blush. But I got new products. Hold on just a second. <laughs> I'm getting there. <laughs> I'm just trying to speed through these two steps. So I'm going to set just in the center of the face. Having a sheer foundation doesn't really mean that you don't get to cover your imperfections. I'm gonna grab the NARS Soft Matte Concealer with a very small detailer brush. Now I'm just gonna go into those spaces where I feel like I really need it. I have a big one right here. But you want the concealer to stay there, so if you blend too much, you're just gonna take away. So this is a product that I'm super excited to try. It's the House Labs high power pigment paint in the color charcoal shimmer so it's a gray and it has shimmer on it <laughs> you just like squeeze it out i'm not gonna use a lot because i know it's pigmented but it kind of looks like that i think it's absolutely gorgeous i'm gonna go in and i'm just gonna apply with the finger and blend it up with my rowan everything eye brush how cute it has a little age on the cap I don't know how fast these dry. It's kind of already like blending. Okay. It's definitely looking a lot more transparent now that I put it on. I'm pretty sure you can build it up. I'm gonna go for the other eye. Everybody's like talking about the House Lab foundation. I feel like everybody already reviewed it, but I can maybe review other stuff in the brand. Kind of like what I'm doing right now. Okay, so it doesn't really blend or move too much once it sets. I guess you shouldn't be too scared to kind of like start moving it. I'm barely using this brush actually. I feel like it works very well with just my finger. So that's kind of one coat. I'm gonna grab a little bit on the brush and pack it in in the areas that I need it. Like in this inner corner here is looking a little light. And I'm just gonna pack it in a little bit in the outer corner as well. Feel like it looks a little patchy. Here it looks heavily pigmented. Once you apply it, it tends to look a little bit more washed out. Um, I'm gonna apply some mascara. Hey, ever since I bought the Rare Beauty mascara, I 
haven't really swished it. I think it's such a good mascara. So I repurchased it. Um, it's a little bit hard to get off. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> In the beginning, I thought it was kind of normal to take off, but then I retried the Ilia mascara, and I'm like, no, it's kind of hard to take off. It just makes your lashes pretty strong. So when you start to remove it, you can actually feel how stiff your lashes are, but it gives you great hold, longevity, super black, great volume. I don't know. It's just such a good mascara. As you can tell, my lashes look pretty bold. It's a little wonky here. For the shadow, I mean, it looks cool. I just feel like there's some like patchiness. It's not too noticeable, really. And it's probably just like an application mistake, maybe. I mean, that's really, really pretty. So obviously I would go with a nude for this look, but I have a Dior lipstick here. I did do a YouTube short showing you guys the color. It's 866 forever together. So we're gonna go with red. <laughs> if it looks bad, I'll take it off. I just really wanna show you guys the lipstick and talk about it. I'm gonna start with a lip liner. I have had this forever. This is Rye Mac, it's Ruby Woo. And I'm just gonna overline. So the lip liner is definitely a lot brighter than the lipstick, but I just need like a little guidance. Honestly, the combination doesn't really look bad at all. However, I do want to overline just a little bit. In the beginning, the lipstick does feel very creamy and like a regular lipstick, but then it starts getting tacky and it starts drying down. You gotta give it a couple of minutes. Meanwhile, I am gonna put a little bit more blush. I always feel like a red lip really takes away from, from your blush. I'm just gonna add just a tiny bit more. And really, when you're using a bold lip, I really do recommend putting on your lipstick first and then your blush and bronzer because you always just end up wanting a little bit more, just like now. So the lipstick is starting to feel tacky. Okay, the pigment is not really transferring that much. However, I am going to wipe it away. I'm using Bioderma. Wow, it's even hard to get rid of with this wipe. So it's definitely long wearing. <laughs> I, of course, found these at Walgreens, but something that I really, really like about these is that they don't feel greasy. They actually just feel like water, like micellar water in a wipe. They do have a scent that I don't particularly love. They also taste really bad. So if I use it to remove this lipstick and then lick my lips, it tastes so bad. So now the lipstick should be dry enough already. It's looking dry. So you can tell it's very, very matte and it is looking somewhat crusty. Let's do the test. Okay, there still is some transfer, but maybe that's the lip liner, right? So I do have to say that while I really love the color of this red lipstick, I don't necessarily love the formula. It's like a liquid lipstick in a crayon. Liquid lipsticks used to be all the craze back in the day, but they always crusted in the middle and started just peeling off and I hated that look. Like for me, I'd rather have a regular lipstick and then and put them back in place. Just rub it in and back in place. But with these kind of lipsticks, they just crust up in the middle and then peel off and it, I just find them to look very unattractive <laughs> and you just want your lips to look good you don't want your lips to look unattractive unkissable so i guess what i'm trying to say is that i really love the color i just don't love this formula necessarily but if you love liquid lipsticks maybe then you will love this i mean it's just if it cracks you just go at it over again and i guess it fixes itself i just don't like the feeling i think it makes my lips look super dry it enhances the lines on it i mean this has been my get ready with me video um kind of punk edition it's also not a bad holiday look let me know what other products you would like to see should i review more house labs should i get more colors what else is catching your attention thank you so much for watching don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you on the next one